For some odd reason, this thing makes me want to Taco Bell so bad right now. I just want a taco. I can see you. Can you see me? Hello. It looks like it belongs in Mexico. It's like a strip club bar that you wake up, you come out of there in the morning and look back at it and go, where did I just come from? Or what did I just do? How are you doing? Yeah. Welcome back to Brick Me Up Scotty and I'm Scotty. Man, a lot of things happening today. It's crazy up in here in Hong Kong. First of all, they're renovating. I think they're renovating downstairs. You hear the drill? Ah, oh, it's killing me. They weren't doing it earlier. And I was like, yes, I can shoot this. And now they're doing it again. Like every time I want to open my mouth or push record, they start drilling. Not too bad, is it? And the other big thing is that we're gonna get hit by a really huge typhoon here in Hong Kong. I mean, it's like super, super huge. The biggest storm of all time being recorded or something like that. So I only have today to kind of clean up everything here in the office, try to review this for you guys. So I'm gonna try to move through this really quickly. So check it out, here it is. So this is Juan Gay Strip Club from Mexico, Tijuana. I'm kidding, it's a joke, man. This is Juan Gay's Architecture, England, corner store, 6311. 2,332 pieces. Ooh, colorful, isn't it? Super colorful, look at that. It's extremely bright. It will completely stand out. They're saying this thing is from England, really? To all my UK subscribers and fans, I know you guys exist, you're out there, I know. Does this place really exist? It says England. We got a phone booth here, we'll take a look at that. That's actually pretty cool, I like that. And it's got something called Four Guys, isn't it? Five Guys, the hamburger joint? Is it? And what's an Asti Market? Asti Market sounds really wrong. I was actually really excited about this, just like the other video. If you haven't seen it, it's the last video, or I put it up here. I think it's actually really good for Wang to come out and start doing these kind of sets. I hope that they do a lot more of these. I like the other one. I had high expectations for this one. After I built it, I was kind of like, uh, it's really good as a display piece, as you can see right here. I think that's pretty cool. And we'll start on the bottom there, on the street. It's tiled. Thank you. Yes, you know I love tiles. So unlike the last one gay set where it was like a raised platform, they're using a standard base plate here. But the problem here is that it's so long, it actually bows on the end. No! So just so you know, you might get a little bowing, maybe your one is fine, or, you know, change out the base plate and redesign it a little bit and you'll be fine. It's a corner store, so you need a corner entrance and they put the door there and they have the pillars. It has a little bit of movement here. I can't open the door here. The sign actually does touch that door. You have to kind of lift the sign up a little bit or pop it off if you want to open it. I love the details on the side here. I like the stoplight. I like how the transparent stud make it look like a stoplight. They've got two street signs there and they are all printed. Wang Gei does not do stickers. Yes. You got a London sign here and you got another sign here that says shop. On the front here, we got the phone booth. I like this phone booth. It's got telephone printed on all four sides with a telephone inside there. Well, I was actually really surprised to see a telephone inside the booth because, you know, Wang Gei doesn't really do any kind of furnishing, but they actually did put a telephone inside this booth. The phone booth is actually sitting on a bunch of studs here on the plate, so it doesn't have a bottom piece, but that's cool. You just slot it right on top. Now, besides the phone booth, I think that's a post box, right? And again, you got the street lamp here, and the street lamp's a little bit plastic. I think that was a problem. The plastic material is a little bit different from a brick material, so the street lamp can fall off just like the other one. Pretty easy, but I know you guys can fix that yourselves. And we come here to the side, look at the front here on that. I like that, it's like a little pathway to this marketplace. But what the heck is an ASD market? And what are they selling inside? I don't know these things. They're just like the megaphone pieces flipped upside down on the counter. As you can see from the camera there, you probably won't see anything on the inside. That's one gate for you, they have no interior and it's all studded. So the splash of green and yellow might be a little bit much, and those pieces might come off because they're not really connected, they're just hooked in underneath. Luckily, the clutch is strong for this set, so you should be okay moving it around. I like the design of the white tiles here, just above the awning and along the front there. I think that's actually pretty okay. There's a lot of color separation going on, the whites, the reds. Oh, my eyes are going off on me. There's so much stuff. I'm bugging out on this thing. And the blue and white tiles, it's interesting. It's very colorful. It's just like candy. It's like a piece of giant candy. That I'm looking at here. Now what's really interesting here, on the back side or the side, it looks totally different from the front here. This looks like something out of a Western cowboy thing going on here, like a, a bar or something. And it says 619 on there. Is there a place out there called 619? And it's just hooked on there. If you wanted to, you can flip it around and be 916. But this whole brown stand is all on its own. And by the way, they actually had wrong pieces and I kind of use my own piece. But again, it's one of those things where it's on the inside, you can't really see it unless I show it to you. Maybe I'll pull it and show you exactly where it is. Now, just like the other one gay set, they have like some plants down here, but there are no other flowers. Interesting. 
We got the fire hydrant here, the little tiny fire hydrant, it's a nice little touch. I kind of like this vibe, but are there any saloon sets out there? Like recent ones? You should get a saloon, like a little Wild Wild West thing going on, man. That's a good inspiration for that. You got this shop sign, my goodness. The shop sign and some of the other things in the set, I just did not like. So the sign here, because it's like pretty thick, it does curve, look, it's bowing here. It's kind of curving. And because it's not straight, trying to actually put the sign is on, it's a bit of a pain in the butt because when you try to stick it on there, things will go flying off here on the sign. You can see the little extra yellow studs I put in there and those little studs are trying to help push the piece in so it doesn't pop out because you can see it's kind of forcing its way out. Dang, I think they could have fixed that up a little bit better, but that's okay. My tip for that is don't put all the studs on because they're not gonna line up quite perfectly. Maybe it will for you, but I like the sign itself. The sign itself is cool. I like the idea that what they did. And on the other side, they have an opposite version of that here. You can see that there in a different color for each letter. I don't know why they have to flip the colors around, but there you go. So the first floor is nice and white. The second and the third floor is all, all red. Look at the red on that. And I, I, I do like how they use these little windows, but they don't have the plastic pieces to put in there. So it's just open, a lot of air gonna go in there. And I like how they use the bricks here along the top, looks like curtains just kind of halfway down. It's a nice touch. Now what's funny is maybe the second floor is like a bar because on the other side, it's got like the, the saloon touch up here, like the Western feel. Interesting. So let's move on to the last floor. Up here on the third floor, it's empty again. They're all empty. I do like the yellow windows on both floors, by the way. They look really nice. And I like the balcony here with the white touch there. And the awning here, it's yellow and green again. It's so different, it's really weird, right? But yeah, this thing is really super colorful. I think it's gonna be a hit or miss. Do you guys like it or not like it? I'm looking at it going, it's kind of cool, it stands out, but it's just crazy. It's just the colors, look at the colors on this thing. So the awnings do move up and down and you can you build them separately and just slide them right on. It's on the other side as well. You got a single one on the back side. So the windows and doors can totally open and close. Uh, the one on the third floor, the door does kind of hit the light, so you do have to be careful with that. And the window here, it'll hit the little ledge right there so it won't open all the way. Design flaw, but the other ones work fine. So just so you know, this is just really funny, right? This is like Juan Gay trolling us. You see the hinges here, and you saw in the last video that it opens up, right? Well, guess what? It doesn't open. What are you guys thinking? What are you doing? It can't open. But why in the world did they put these little hinges on here? They have it on every floor. I'm like, did they just go, oh, we're just gonna use, we just might as well just put them in just for looks, right? And that it can open up. The set does not open up. It is not a modular. You cannot take off the rooftop. You cannot take off the second floor or the third floor. If you drop something inside, you're royally screwed because it's just really hard to get your fingers inside. I did that a couple of times with one of the, the door windows fell inside and I'm like trying to get it out. No, I can't get my fat fingers in there. Sorry guys, to be the party pooper. Now, if it really could split open, you would have an equal line here with the bricks, but you don't, it can't open. Whoa, what did they do? There are gaps in there, but they're just like teasing you. Try to spit your minifigure in there. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Or try to, you know, if something falls down here, try to get that in there. Or how about this one here? Like, yeah, I can open the door there, but I can't get it closed now. It's funny that they built staircases for every floor, just like the last set, but it's just, you just can't get in there. What is going on? Why did they close this off? And finally, here, along the top, I thought this was actually really hilarious. See, this is what I mean. It looks like a, a chapel that's like put on a rooftop. That is so bizarre. It's so weird. I like it, it's a nice touch. It just looks really bizarre that it's on top of there. Maybe it's an altar. Maybe that's where you do your prayers. I'm not sure. I like the see-through pieces here on the side, the curves. That's actually kind of neat. And the red window makes it stand out. And the rooftop too, it's kind of like the memorial that we did, like that kind of build, you know? Very simple along the top, nice and white. How did the minifigures get up there? You guys gotta let me know if this place actually really exists because if it does, I'll jump on a plane and fly over there and check it out because man, I gotta meet the guy who made this and figure out what was going to their mind. I just wish the set could open up. I don't even wanna decorate it. I'm just gonna leave it like this as a display piece because once something falls over in there, it's gonna be so hard to get out. There are one or two plates on each floor that will be really, really loose. They will fall down and it's only held up until, like I said before, many times, so that last piece goes on there and then it'll stay secure. I know it super sucks, I can't take these off to show you properly on the inside, I mean, unless I take the whole thing apart, but at least I can kind of show you guys through the windows and the doors here on the first floor, the second floor, and the third floor that there is room in there. You can certainly put things inside of it, it's just really hard to get into, 
And like I said, unless you want to tear it all apart, furnish it, and then put it together, the choice is up to you. But, oh, that's like minus 100 to Wange for that. Well, at least the second and third floor do have tiles on the outside part on the balcony on both sides. So here we are with the dimensions again. Here's my bricks on this camera. It's like just about, like, it's really hard to do it from here, but as you can see, it just about reaches 40 bricks high. So here is a 32 by 32 base plate. I'm gonna lay this down here. As you can see, it's longer than a 32. You might be able to actually fit the whole, just this part itself, and then maybe adjust and put these ones on the front. I, I think you can do it. Push this over here, add it to about there. It's about 48 studs in length. And in width is 24 studs by width. So there you go. There's your dimensions. Oh, comparison. Let's do a quick, quick comparison. I'll pull out some other sets. Okay. Here's the Lego diner. I don't know which way it looks better. If it looks better like that, or it's supposed to be like, like that. It's blocking off that corner, but you still have the marketplace. That kind of looks okay like that. Yeah. Slide this here. Well, well, well. It is nice to see my old friend again. Lego is being sandwiched by two other brands right now. That looks really off. That just doesn't look right. It looks so weird. What if I like slid this around here? Put this here. Sideways like that. Okay, we'll, we'll sandwich this one back around here. At least you got like this little tiny alley way down here where it protrudes out too much. Yeah, you have to like slide these ones up. Any other sets we should show with this? Okay, we'll do one more. There it is again. Different, right? There you guys go. That's the one we just did before. This one we did now. You get the idea at least, right? Yeah. Wangye. All right, you guys. So there it is. Wangye's corner shop available on brickmeupscotty.com. Go check it out. Link in the description. Thank you for all your support and all the love. It's time to clean up. Construction is starting. Storm's coming in. It's time to get out of here. Until next time, you guys. Brick me out. Adya! Which way is London? Is it that way? Or that way? Where's the shop? Is it that way? Or that way? Okay, I guess it's that way. As D Market. How do they come up with that name, As D Market? Wang well, I can help you with names if you want help, man. Just call it the market. It's already even better than Nasty. Nasty! Oh, you nasty boy. Nasty boy. Four guys. Really? They had to name the shop Four Guys? There are four guys in one cup? Nah, man. Bad memories, why did I say that for? No, no, I should not have said that. It's bowing so much here, you can play music. Ding, 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 ding. Chain 619, 2666. Six, six. Oh, whoops. Yeah, the, these, these starts aren't help that great on the tip. Oh, look, that's even better. Here, we'll take that off, put this on here. Welcome to the gaming store called Bit. That's Scotty's mock right there. That's the bit store. You guys want to see that missing piece really quick? This whole thing right here. Can you see that? You can se actually separate that whole thing there. There's my missing pieces. How dare you? I have just had to replace two of the rows here. But like I said, you can't really see it. And I have ga a gap in here. So you can hide more of your hidden stuff that you don't want your parents to see. And put it in there and stash it away. And you're good to go. Don't do that, kid. Don't listen to me. My imagination is a little bit too much sometimes. Can I? Can I get it closed? Oh, oh! Try to close that door. I can't quite do it. Oh, I think I almost got it. Oh, now push it back open again. Come on, close. Oh, I can't do it. Dear, I, I think you've gone a little bit too far on this set. Oh, Scotty, what's the matter? It's time for us to get married. Come on, let's get in this chapel and get hitched. Uh, I don't know if I want to get married in a place like this. Is this even a chapel, man? It's so beautiful, look at it. Dear, I think you've lost it, man, and you look really weird like that. Where did you get that outfit from, and how did you even fit inside of it? Scotty, don't ask these questions. Now get inside. That's actually pretty amazing we're able to fit in here. Now let's get married. Yeah, I don't have a ring, though. Will this blue stud be okay? Oh, we did it, yay. Now let's party like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, all right, let's get drunk. This is like Mardi Gras. We've got the party going on, dear. Hey, check it out. I don't have a necklace, but I have this I can throw to the crowd. Yeah, show me your... No, Scotty! We can't go that far. You know, these kids are watching this too. Uh, I, I, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. Scotty, where are you? Where did you go? We just got married and you're leaving me? No, I'm just checking out this ass D market. I need to see if they have some ass D. Scotty, why are you taking so long to get up there? Come on, we gotta go! 
Well, first of all, I had to check out this market. But I have no idea what they're selling. You know what they're selling? Scotty, you know I don't care about that. I just want you to get into the hotel room right now. It's time. Scotty? Scotty? Scotty, Scotty! Wake up! What are you doing? Huh? Uh, what, what, what's going on? Dear, what, what just happened, man? I just had this really bad dream. It was really, really bad. I don't know. You went in this place called Four Guys and you just came out falling over. Maybe it's something that they gave me, whatever that place is. I don't know if it's a restaurant or a bar. I just had the craziest dream. Oh, tell me about it. Please do. Uh, better not, man. Anyway, I'm missing my blue stud. Have you seen it? Nah, I just saw you lying down over here. You kept saying, get away from me. Get away from me. Yeah, yeah, I was being chased by something that would probably ruin me for the rest of my life. Anyway, let's go find a blue stud and get out of here. Nothing here, Scotty. There's absolutely nothing in this place. This is just like that freaking coffee shop you took to. Here it is, Scotty. I found your blue stud. I put it on my nose. I'm bringing it down to you. Thanks, dear. Great, I got my stud. Dear, let's just get out of here, man. Where do we go now? I don't know, Scotty. Do we go to shop or we go to London? Hey, you know what? I got a better idea. It's a telephone booth right there. Yeah? Hang on one second, all right? Oh, no. Not again. Please don't do it. Hang on tight, dear. Here we go! Ah, you just couldn't resist, could you? Nope! It's time to fly out of this set and go into the other one. So here we go! Up, up, and away! Ah, Scotty, sometimes I just don't know about you. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. We really appreciate it. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And Scotty will be back with much more. Now, I hope the next set has something in it. All right, you guys. Bye-bye now. Gee, I wonder what Scotty dreamed about. What the heck is that? Hey, handsome, up here.